The world's coolest species of fish all live in the ocean. And because I want to keep these unique kinds of fish as pets, in this video, I'm going to build my very own chunk of a coral reef to keep them in. And it was definitely worth it because I got to watch stuff like coral come to life, my pregnant seahorses literally give birth on camera, and much, much more. And of course, it all began on day one, where I had none of that stuff. But I did have one thing, and that was a $1,000 budget, baby. Now, you might be thinking $1,000 seems a bit overkill, but trust me, coral reef tanks are extremely expensive. I'm honestly probably gonna need more than this. I might gotta steal some money from my parents. Anyways, the first step was to head out to the pet store and buy most of the supplies needed. First of all, I got this rimless tank to build everything in. Next, I chose out a bunch of rocks. Wait, what? Six dollars per rock, bro. I need like 20 of these. I am not about to spend $100 on rocks. Finally, I picked out some sand, basic technologies, and some secret advanced technologies to make this coral reef super interesting later in the video. All right, the supplies have been supplied, but for now, I'm just gonna get rid of most of this stuff because they're for later. To start, what we gotta do is unbox this tank. And thankfully, the tank was pretty nice and even came equipped with this functional light on it. But unfortunately, it did have this big ugly gray thing on it, which apparently was a water filter built into it. If I knew it came with a filter, I wouldn't have spent $120 on my own filter, uh, so yeah, I just kind of lost $120. <gasps> to start the build, we gotta first pour in the sand, of course. Let's just uh, dump that in there. Yeah, just like that. Wait, hold up, look at this, bro. My bag, it has like mold in it. What the heck, why is it green? I don't think sand's supposed to be green, but uh, I put it in anyways. Next, it's time to use our rocks. But let me tell you something, these are not just normal rocks. I actually went all out and I got purple rocks. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool. Okay, in hindsight, I might have overestimated how many rocks I needed. I'm pretty sure this is more rocks than can even fit inside of this tank. But it's alright, because you know what they say, the more rocks, the merrier. Uh, let's get to building. So basically, we're gonna use the rocks to build up a beautiful purple arch. Then later, I'm gonna cover that arch with some luscious corals, and I'm even gonna put some seahorses in to finish the whole thing off. So you know what time it is. It is time for the rock building montage. Let's go. All right, after building a little while, this is what I've got. But to continue this part of the build, I do need some smaller rocks, and the only supply of rocks I have now are too big. So, you know what time it is. It's time to smash rocks. And after smashing the rocks, I had to build with them again. All right, well, the rock thing is finished. And honestly, this isn't even looking too bad. This definitely has potential to be a super good coral reef tank. But speaking of coral, I should probably uh, get some to put inside. Yeah. So I drove out to the pet store again, and I looked all around for some coral. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think PetSmart has any coral. I mean, they got like exotic fish all over this wall, but I guess coral's too exotic. They do got this fake plastic coral, though. Should I get this? Nah. Actually... Nah, 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 what am I talking about? I need to get real coral. And it turned out the only way to get real coral in my town was to get it delivered. So I found this website called Aqua SD, and I got the buying. <gasps> What? Are you seeing this? Two thousand dollars for a pe- These are all two thousand dollars? Hold up, I'm on the wrong section. Let me go to best selling and okay, okay. Twenty dollars, that's a little bit better. I mean, some of these are kind of expensive, but I mean, that's definitely better than <laughs> two thousand dollars. So, of course, I gathered up the coolest types of coral and placed the order for three hundred dollars. In the meantime, while I wait for those to be delivered, I've got something pretty cool I can add into the tank. To add this, we need to first fill up the tank with some pre-cycled salt water that I bought and let the filter run for an hour to clear up all the cloudiness. Nice. Now, if you remember at the start, I went to the pet store to get supplies, and while I was there, I found a bottle of zooplankton. Which, if you don't know, zooplankton is a microscopic animal that lives at the bottom of the food chain in oceans. And you know, it'd be pretty cool if we, you know, had that. Like, it could be food for the coral and stuff. Yeah, so I, I want to add this. Okay, let me pour some of this in. And, uh, uh, why is it orange? And, oh, yeah, that smells disgusting. But even after adding a bunch of it in, uh, you know, I kind of realized they're microscopic. And, yeah, I couldn't really see them at all. So instead, I got something even better. A bottle of live tigger pods. And this, you can definitely see these guys. And you can tell they're alive. Just look at how many are swimming around in here. So, of course, I emptied the whole bottle inside of the tank. And soon, they were swimming all over around which you can barely see with my camera because my camera sucks but trust me they, they actually are swimming all around to feed these guys i broke down a bit of frozen salt
salt water food that eventually sunk down to the bottom. And within minutes, a ton of these ticker pods were swarming all around the food and eating it up. Anyways, three days later, a package had just arrived in the mail containing all of the coral I had bought. And not only am I about to add this, but I'll also be adding creatures like pregnant seahorses that will literally give birth on camera. Yes, I am not joking. But before that, of course, as you know, this video is very expensive. So I want to thank the sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online platform that is on a mission to make therapy more affordable and accessible. In fact, they've already helped 4.8 million people get help for any problem or stress they may have been facing. For example, BetterHelp would be perfect for me as a YouTuber. That's because many YouTubers, including me, can experience burnout from the pressure to keep uploading at a consistent and quality rate. BetterHelp is the best option to solve this because it will let me talk to a therapist via messaging, phone call, or even video chat. My favorite is that you can talk to a therapist via messaging as you can do it from anywhere at any time. But of course, you don't have to be a YouTuber to suffer from similar challenges. There are many aspects of our lives that can cause stress and feelings of burnout, and if you're feeling that right now, you can join me on BetterHelp. The best thing about BetterHelp is all you have to do is answer a few simple questions and they match you with a therapist that will be able to understand you perfectly. If this sounds interesting, you can go to my link betterhelp.com slash terrorgreen, which will give you a special discount on your first month. Once again, thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to the coral. Before putting in the coral, I first had to do the whole coral acclimation process to let it adjust to the new environment. And after about an hour of that, I was able to finally add in the coral and watch it come to life. Except uh, it's gonna take a few hours for it to actually come to life. So I'm just gonna come back tomorrow. So yeah, uh, cut to that. Oh my gosh, I just woke up and look at how beautiful some of this coral is getting. But if I'm not gonna lie, some of this coral still looks, uh, well, dead. So the ones that are healthy, I'm gonna scatter around the rock structure. And the ones that are in bad shape or haven't fully opened up yet, I'm just gonna leave in the sand to adjust. Now, if I'm being honest, the tank overall may not look very cool right now, but that's because these corals have yet to grow. In a few months, they'll start to grow so big that the whole tank is gonna get basically overtaken. But in the meantime, look at some of these shots I got of these corals opening up. First of all, there's this beautiful purplish one that has these green polyp hairs pop out of it. Very cool. Second, there's this one that has these long tentacles with flowers on the end that just waves around in the water flow. Yeah, that's also pretty cool. And finally, one of my favorite ones is this coral called a green Duncan that opens up these little thick tentacles and they just flow around very coolly once again. Yeah. Anyways, now that we got coral in here, it's time to actually add in some fish, baby. And after searching around online for a little bit, I found the coolest species of fish I could add in. Dwarf seahorses. Okay, so there's this website that sells dwarf seahorses, which if you don't know, are basically just seahorses, which are the coolest animal in the ocean, of course. But they're extremely small, so it's actually perfect for the fish tank I have. Of course, the opportunity was way too cool to pass up on, and despite being very expensive, I managed to place the order. And there we go, it says the order's on the way, and it's actually gonna arrive tomorrow, so that's great. Now, to prepare this tank for the seahorses, I need to first add in some stuff that their tails will be able to grip onto, because if they don't have that, they get very stressed. And since my current tank has barely any of that, I got some macroalgae to solve it. Macroalgae is basically the equivalent of a freshwater aquatic plant, but it can actually survive in salt water, which is why I'm using this. All right, as you can see, the macroalgae has been placed around the tank, and this tank should be suitable for seahorses now. And speaking of the seahorses, the next Next day, the package arrived as expected, and it was time to add them in. First of all, I temperature acclimated them and turned off the lights to reduce stress. After 30 minutes, I scooped them out one by one, and uh, well, yeah, I got seahorses in the tank now. Immediately, each of the four seahorses start to swim around the tank to explore their new home. Some of them used their tails to grip onto the macro algae like I had intended, while some of the others just kept swimming around. But out of the four seahorses I had got, two of them actually had a big bump on their stomach. And since I've never kept seahorses, seahorses before, I was actually starting to get worried that they may be injured. Even worse was one of the seahorses kept curling up in a ball and floating to the top of the tank. Oh man, is this guy okay? He's just been kind of floating up there for a while. I'm actually getting kind of worried. But thankfully, there was nothing to worry about because later that day, something very surprising happened. Oh my gosh, I just walked in my room and you will not believe what I see. Uh, where is it? Look at this it's a baby seahorse oh my gosh yep it turned out those seahorses with big bumps on them were actually pregnant seahorses and i caught one of them at the perfect moment to record them giving birth look there's another one of the babies oh my gosh the baby's right next to the, the dad or the mom 
I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. Interestingly enough, males are actually the ones that give birth in the world of seahorses. I don't know how that works, but uh, I don't really want to know if I'm going to be honest. And I also got to watch one of the coolest things happen. One of the babies went up to his dad and gave him a big hug with his tail. Aww. That is so cool. All right, anyways, now I got one final creature I'm going to add into this enclosure. But before I add in this creature, I just want to say that only 5% of you guys are subscribed. Now, I know every YouTuber says this, but seriously, that does mean there's a 95% chance you aren't subscribed. If you've ever seen one of my other videos, or if you're liking this video at all, please just subscribe because it helps me make more videos like this. Anyways, for the creature I was going to add, check these out. Marine hermit crabs, baby. These, as you probably know, are just hermit crabs, you know, crabs. They're in shells. They live underwater. Pretty cool. But they actually do have a use as they'll eat algae and keep the tank clean overall. Thanks, guys. After a couple more days, the other seahorse started to have his babies, and soon there was like 20 little babies swimming all around the tank. Aww. If I'm being completely honest, this is not the prettiest tank I've ever built, but it definitely is going to make a good home for the army of seahorses I'm going to be raising. Make sure to subscribe, everybody. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. It's over now. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click this video on the screen and subscribe to the channel. Make the click the video on the screen.